After a beautiful sunrise, it was time to go ahead and make breakfast. This morning, we decided to make French toast. Now, I gathered all of my ingredients for my egg custard. I started with two eggs, but technically I wanted three, and you will see where I added in my third egg. So you want three eggs, about a cup of milk, a teaspoon, use your heart and measure, of vanilla. You want about a tablespoon of sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon, but I found cinnamon sugar in the cabinet, so I just kind of measured the whole tablespoon. And then you want to add a pinch of salt. You could use honey or maple syrup here in place of the sugar if you wanted. Then use a whisk and whisk all of that together. Now I was not a fan of her whisk, so I wound up swapping it out for a fork and had better luck getting all of my ingredients whisked together. Again, like I said, I used a third egg and I should have started with three and I lived on the wild side and cracked it right into my dish where I lost just a little bit of shell. Just use the shell and it will pull it out. Then I used this French toast bread that we bought at Kroger. Now this is enough custard mixture to make about six slices or three servings. You want to place your bread into the custard mixture, let it soak up a little bit of the custard mixture, and then flip it over. And I let it set in there on that second side while I was warming up the skillet and adding my butter to cook my French toast in. Just like with pancakes, your first one is always going to be your tester to see if your pan is warm enough. And obviously, if you start with a colder pan, it's not going to quite have the browning. Now, as the butter sits there, it's going to turn to a browned butter and it's going to add even more flavor. So let your mixture sit there until it cooks and sets those eggs, then go ahead and flip it. While you're cooking your first set, go ahead and put your second pieces of bread into your mixture so that when you add more butter and have it melted, you can go ahead and add your second serving of the French toast to your pan. Now it is time to add your topping. We just used some pancake syrup because of course we were on vacation, but some fruit would be very nice. Eat immediately when it's done and enjoy!